Here I'm going to show you how to do a V-shaped weed guard. This is a common weed guard used on most bonefish, permit, redfish patterns. First thing you want to do is you want to choose some nice stiff monofilament. I'm going to use some 20 pound here. It's a pretty good all around size to use on most weed guards. And I'm going to kind of play with the natural curve of this mono. I'm going to have the mono curve rearward to the fly. I'm just going to tie this mono in right at the eye of the hook. Just let it curve backwards. I'm going to take this mono. I'm just going to go right over the top to the other side. I'm going to capture it. I'm going to lay some wraps underneath it. And I'm just going to trim it to a rough long length. Now I'm going to take this weed guard, pull it back just a little bit and put some wraps right in front of it. That'll help keep the weed guard propped up. Then of course you can whip finish right in front. Now there's more than one way to do this style of weed guard you can actually go under the hook instead of over the hook then you trim the weed guard to just a little longer than the point of the hook and you have a perfect little v-shaped weed guard that will help keep cabbage and grass off of your off of your hook pretty easy weed guard to do it takes a little bit of practice to build up not much bulk at the eye. Of course you're going to want to super glue this as well. Keep it in place. Give you a front on view here. That's all there is to it.